Alrighty, welcome back to another Wacky Wednesday. Last week we had shown the uh, two mag leg pouch thing. Um, and I guess I never showed you actually how to make the cardboard piece of this. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make the cardboard piece of this. So what you're going to need for this project, a nice piece of cardboard that measures right around 13 inches. You also need a yardstick and a box cutting knife works about best. You want a couple pencils to mark out what you need and a hot glue gun and hot glue sticks. And of course, last but not least, duct tape. Scissors are also an option. So I have everything marked out here for the two. Um, and then it's just, you just hold it all up. That's better. Something like that. There we go. That's what we're going to for. So we're going for that kind of slot fit there so then you can just fit it in real nice. Down in the description, you'll see all of the marks and everything that you have to do to get this right. So this crease we're going to want to put right about there. And so from here to there is eight and seven eighths. We're gonna mark that quite a ways down too to get that nice straight line. And make sure when you're doing this, uh, make sure that the veins are running this way. Like that. This piece is just jumping. Alright, uh, first mark we're going to do is one and one eight. So I'm going to pop that guy right there. The next mark, so that'll be three and a quarter. Six and three quarters of an inch. The next mark is going to be eight and seven eighths. You already have that one. And the next mark is going to be twelve and three eighths. Gonna mark that down here again. Inch and an eight. Three and a quarter. Six and three quarter. Eight and seven eighths. We already have that one there. Increase. And then we have twelve and three eighths. It's always good to go over your measurements again. Just make sure you have everything. Yep. All right. So basically the length that we want this way is a little bit less than how much it is on the clip. So the clip's going to be about seven and seven eighths. So basically we're just going to want to take it down to about seven. Seven inches is going to be okay. So first let's mark yeah, this off first. So we're going to about seven there and seven up here. We're going to take our lines and line them up. Take that knife. Right and down. Excuse me, don't eat. Now we line up all our lines. Now, we don't want to mark them. But we don't want to cut all the way through on this either. This is going to be a fold point. So the easiest way to do a fold point is to just score the first layer of cardboard. You don't want to go all the way through. You just want to be able to score it and then bend it one way. So then all the innards come straight and then fold it the other way. And you get a nice straight, even line. Ta da! So that's one of. The rest we gotta do. Alright, here we go. Again, line up the lines, line up the little tick marks, take your knife, score it, fold it the opposite way you want it to go, and then fold it up. Perfect. Alright, on to the rest of them. Oh, 
goes the opposite way. There we go. And then we just fold it together, just like that. And if you want to, best to do that when you fold it there. be able to pull both of them out relatively easy. It'll get easier the more you in and out, in and out, kind of thing. And then we've got to take our hot glue, throw it in there, nice big wad of it. And then just fold it over, speed it down, let it sit there for a while. Like so, and then you take your duct tape of any color that you want. And then basically what we're going to want to do with this is we're going to want to make end stop so that it doesn't keep going. The easiest way I found it is just fold your duct tape over, stick it onto itself. And make sure it fits like that, a little overhang on each side, and this piece of duct tape is right around four and a half, five inches, which is fine. Take a little extra, stick it on the end, like so, so you got your sticky stuff, and then just barely get it. And we can clip still in, do it on the other side. And this, the reason we're doing this is so then we don't want the clips going all the way down because they are prone to doing that because it's not quite a perfect fit. It's tight, but they'll definitely slip down if you're not careful. Uh, and then if you want to make this stronger, you just kind of get a nice big length. Go around the bottom of it. And there we are. Ta da! So there you go. And these don't just have to be a leg holster. These can totally go on your chest or your back or just wherever you want to put these. You can put them. So that's it. Um, check out my other video last week. I'll have a picture or a click screen somewhere around this area I think on this side of the screen um, so then you guys can go check that video out and figure out how to do all the strapping that you need and uh, that'll be it for now I guess we'll be catch you on the next video